Uh, talk me through uh, what went through your head in that first round. It was a short fight, ended with a, a leaping rear naked choke. Okay. Um, honestly, I wanted to stand. Uh, I like Muay Thai, I like knees. I really wanted to, uh, I really wanted to showcase my Muay Thai skills. Um, I, I caught him with a couple jabs, and I, I wanted to come around with that roundhouse, but uh, he kind of like ran away from me. Once I, uh, once I seen that he kept s switching to my power side, I started stalking him, and um, I really got a little bit too aggressive. And once I stood up for that flying knee, he kind of shot in, really nice takedown, twisted my hips up, got a good overhook, um, pushed his head down, got back up. Uh, it was a nice scramble, a little bit. Um, I think I tried to muscle him a little bit. I don't remember that part of it, but I think I tried to muscle him, so I had to relax. And once I, um, I popped his arm, uh, kind of like a duck under, and uh, pulled his head down and took his back and finished. I mean, yeah, it was a quick, it was a quick finish, and, and a lot of people were uh, were amazed how fast you just scrambled around him. How how satisfied were you with the speed with which you just ended this fight? Do you wish you had a longer fight? Uh, yes, I. Um, the, um, the fight that I had previously was, was a little too quick because, um, and I respect that guy and everybody who goes into the cage to fight in front of a whole bunch of people. I mean, you have to have a set just to even crawl into that cage. So uh, I hope I wish him well. You know, it's a learning experience for both of us. But um, I'm really not happy because of the work you put in. I'm sure all the fighters will say that, but it's kind of cliche, I guess, possibly. But uh, the work you put in, you want more of a fight. Like, you want more of a challenge, and especially being an amateur, it is all about heart and desire and the challenge that, you know, faces you and the unknown, and, you know, that's where the adrenaline comes in, so I'm happy that I won, but um, I would have probably been a lot happier if I was in a war and I lost, you know, I mean, obviously I want to win, that's the whole point, but, you know, I'd, I'd like to fight a lot longer because of the work we put in is the point. And because you want to see maybe a... Uh like maybe where, you're, where the holes in your game are if you have a longer fight? Exactly, and that's all amateur is. It's just, uh, you know, videotape, you know, tone up basically, tighten up everything, more technique, um, what you need to work on. Because it's one thing to train, it's one thing to hit pads, it's one thing to spar with guys that are your friends and control. It's another thing to fight a guy that's been training to hurt you. <laughs> you know, I mean, I don't, I don't see the game as it being a, a violent sport. It's more of a chess match. For me, you know, it's actually really peaceful. I'm never nervous, especially jujitsu. But um, it's really peaceful, every every part about it. So uh, I'm just excited to just fight and get an opportunity to do what I do. Well, thanks a lot for your interview. And uh, do you have any words for our, our fans on Stand Them Up? Um, keep training. All right, you heard the man. <laughs>